Okay, I'm going to do a video here on the firmware update for the Netgear WN3000PR. And this is the new firmware page. So there's a new firmware. It changed from uh, Netgear Setup to Netgear Genie. Alright, so first thing you got to do, you got to go to... Um, Netgear support.netgear.com and then it takes you you search for your device and this pops up and you download the zip file the firmware version then you unzip it and I recommend unzipping it to your desktop there's the this is the notes and then here's the driver so then what you do is uh, after you have it you need to bring I recommend you bring your uh, your extender next to you in in your room where your router is and plugging it in with uh, see this is an extension cord so you don't have to get up and move back and forth could believe me you would because I did it freaking a hundred times but anyway you need another uh, you need an Ethernet cord or you can just use the one connected to your laptop or whatever and do it you know that way if you want but uh, right now you need to you plug your Ethernet cord in the, the extension, and then take the other end and you plug it into your computer. And then after that, get a little pin or something real little, and then go to your extension and hit the factory reset button right here. And then once the factory reset button is hit it'll all the lights will go off except for this one will turn amber and let that turn amber and then once they start to connect again go over to your laptop make sure you're connected hardline but it'll it'll have like a a, a little uh, exclamation point saying there's no internet access but what should happen is your old uh, setup wizard should come up and then your setup wizard comes up and you uh, upload the firmware that you just downloaded you upload it and everything will upload and you just go through the process that way because it took me forever but the whole thing is is that whole reset button and after that everything should be fine and then you go back to uh, this is what your Netgear page looks like now so for those of you that was having trouble logging into this the whole secret is that reset button because once you hit that reset button you go to your old Netgear setup and then you upload the firmware that you downloaded then after that uh, you connect the via the, the my Wi-Fi EXT and this is your new firmware and that's it Thank you.